Well, good morning everyone, and welcome to another video. Um, just want to start off again, as always, by thanking all of you for watching this video and sort of supporting Ludicrous Feed. We've had um, very good success recently with our Model 3 videos, so thank you for watching. Obviously, there are people out there who are looking forward to the Model 3 coming to Australia. This morning, I've got a bit of a different view for you, as you can see. We've got a GoPro set up on my um, on my dash. Um, on the left screen, you will see left of the screen, you'll see um, the energy usage uh, in um, in kilowatts, and there's also a little indicator for the energy efficiency of this car so far uh, in kilowatts per hour, uh, kilowatt sorry watt hours per uh, per kilometer. So I'll explain that to you. Um, the the semicircle um, shows you how much the uh, instantaneous energy is, so how much energy is required currently to, to power the current velocity of this car. Um, if it's in the orange, it means it's actually using the uh, battery, so it requires energy. If it's if it's going green, which you will see shortly when I'm going downhill, it means that uh, the car is actually charging, so now it's charging in green because it's storing up the um, storing uh, the, the braking force into the battery and also brakes the car at the same time, which is fantastic. Uh, and then you'll see the um, histogram or the graph in orange and green. So in the last 10 kilometers, you will see that um, most of the time I've gone in the orange, which, which means I've had to use the battery. A couple of times it's gone in the green, which means it's charged. Uh, and the dotted line straight through that semicircle is um, the average um, energy that has uh, the average efficiency, I guess you can say. Uh, and then the, the the units of the instantaneous energy in kilowatts. So instantaneous energy. Um, so currently you can see going uphill a little bit. Uh, it's going up to about 50 occasionally to get up to the slope. Um, you can also change it how many. Um, how many kilometers? How many past kilometers? Um, if you wanted to see how what the efficiency is, I think it goes 10, 25, and 50 kilometers. Um, and I can change that through my settings, which I won't play too much with my um, screen just yet because I'm driving. I want to concentrate. Um, now the middle part of the um, of the dash. Obviously, the top number is the number of kilometers an hour I'm traveling at currently and I'll do my very best to keep at the speed limit this morning I normally do but I'm just saying I will extra quick careful now I just want a bit of a caveat here if you look at the time in the bottom right corner it's um, 718 so it's not quite school hours just yet I had to drop a electric Evan at school this morning very early because he had um, a band rehearsal but um, that um, number in it looks like a speed limit um, so there are cameras in this car that picks up the um, speed limit of the road I'm tra ca traveling at currently what it does it just reads the signs on the road and then it just tells you approximately well it tells you what the speed limit is just keep in mind it's 712 like a 719 like I said um, and it does pick up the 40 sign so I will be going over 40 um, but it's okay because it's not school hours just yet. So if anybody's watching this that is a bit picky with that kind of thing Just I'm not breaking the law. Just a little caveat. It's only 719 um, So that's that number. That's what the red uh, red ring around the number is. That's the speed limit currently You'll see um, you'll see some you'll see my car in the bottom of that middle bit um, It's real time. So I've got my brakes on uh, I'm not moving as you can see on the other video um, that black car in front of me, it just uh, the sensor picks up what's around me, which is really good. So as I start moving, the brake lights will go off, and then it'll pick up other cars as well. Uh, and then the radar of the car uses um, it will tell you what's around you. So, uh, so now, as you can see, it's 10 to 40, but um, like I said, it's not quite 8 o'clock, so I can go a bit higher than that, than that because it's 60 kilometers an hour normally. Um, so yeah, the radar picks up. Um, picks up the cars and, and things around me so now it's in yellow which means it's coming closer when it's very close uh, it'll turn red if it's gray it means it's it's a safe distance away 
All right, so on the right of the screen, um, there's some, um, there are some um, stats. So as you can see, it tells you what, um, what efficiency I'm traveled at. Since six o'clock this morning, um, I've traveled 28.1 kilometers. Evan, Electric Evans School is quite far away from my house. Cross the roundabout first, and then I've travelled 44 minutes so far, and I've driven at an efficiency of 202 watt hours per kilometer. Now it's 200. So I I try to drive at around 200 watt hours per kilometer. That is the I think personally that is the um, best efficiency to travel at, um, and I think that's what Tesla uses as well personally to get their range with their battery. You drive at an average of 200 watt hours per kilometer. Um, so the second row is similar um, stats, but um, it's since the last charge, so uh, that tells you since I've charged, well, it's about the same now because I've charged, since I've charged, I started, uh, since I've been driving this morning, I've, um, that's when I put my charger out of my car, so it should be the same number of stats. Um, the only difference, I guess, is the middle number, which is, um, I've used 5.8 kilowatt hours of my battery. My battery is 70 kilowatt hours, so I've used about 5 over 70. I, I think it's about 8%. I can't quite do the maths, it's too early. And then my odometer, pretty self explanatory. Um, I've driven 36,000 odd kilometers. Uh, I bought this car second hand at 8,000, so I guess I've driven 28,000 kilometers in about 18 months, which is, I think that's about right for the number of kilometers I travel every day. And then the bottom right corner, you will see um, the time, 7.22 a.m. Um, and then the four gears, which I've got, which is just park, reverse, neutral, and drive. That's all. There's no, um, no D1, D2, D3, whatever, whatever. I don't even, really even know what they mean in a normal automatic car. Um, so it's just one gear, which is forward, and then it goes backwards at the same time, so reverse and drive. Uh, and then the bottom left corner, you will see um, my battery status. Um, 228 kilometers remaining in my battery. You can also have that as a percentage as well, so you can express that as a percentage, which you can change in the settings as well. Uh, it's 21 degrees currently outside, which is um, handy to know. The speed camera coming up. I'll just show you a quick handy feature when um, you've got to sort of travel at the speed limit very carefully because there's a radar or a speed camera close up. You can flick the cruise control on pretty easily. And you can see the grey, grayed out number became a, a, a solid white 60. So now it's following 60 pretty closely. I'm just going to slow down a little bit because the car is um, the cars ahead aren't too going at 60. So I don't want to crash in them. Obviously, I don't have autopilot installed in this, but um, I know the new autopilot cars um, that for post 2016 models uh, have adaptive cruise control as well as autopilot. So if there's a car going going a bit slower than 60 then your, your car will follow accordingly. I think the newer uh, internal combustion engine cars have the same technology as well so obviously this one this, this one wasn't installed with that technology. Uh, and that's pretty much my center control panel. Uh, as you can see I'm going downhill uh, I'm not sure if that picks up on my other camera but so going downhill is uh, obviously it's gonna um, it's gonna go green quite often which is good so that means my car is currently charging itself which is very handy there's no other internal combustion engine car that can do that there's no way it can refuel itself so that is one major benefit which i keep harping on about but i love about the tesla and electric cars in general and your model 3 one day when you purchase it will have it as well so that's very great very good you can charge as you drive now, obviously, obviously, if I go downhill, I'm gonna have to go uphill eventually. So I'm going uphill now. Um, so it's using my battery, which I charged up. So there you have it. That's the center console. Um, you can also change as well what you want on, on either one. So if I just hang on to, you can sort of change what you want. Energy settings, which is what I've got. You can have media. You can have what's currently playing. So there's my radio station, which I like to listen to. You can also have your clock, funky little analog clock. You can also have empty, I guess that's the future. You can also have your um, 
sorry, energy is different, I'm sorry. Energy is the same as the other one, so it swaps around. Um, so I'd like to have it on trips normally, but you can also check your tire pressure. So it's not too bad, 44 PSI, which is quite high, I know, but I think Tesla recommends it to be quite high. The back ones are a bit low, so I might have to go in and pop those up. Um, you can have your phone, so no calls currently, so I can't choose that. So I'll go back to trips because I like having my stats on my, my dash. On the left side, very similar. You can have your media, which are music, energy. So I'm going to pass this traffic light first. Um, oh, that's a volume for radio as well. Uh, media, energy, trips, car status. Oh, you can have your GPS as well. So. Um, for example, let me show you. I'm just going to let's have a look. navigate to Sydney. So it's going to navigate to Sydney, and then the map will pop up on the left hand side, which is pretty cool. It's going to go at 60 as well, so I don't break the law. Please follow the road for three kilometers. Yes, I will. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can have your navigation right there, which is very handy. Also pops up on the big screen as well, on my center, center console. Yeah, so that's um, that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing you can do is also, you can um, choose music, so let's see. Play Everlong by Foo Fighters. As you can see, the, um, the voice control is pretty accurate. Center screen, I just pick it, which you can't see, but I've selected it now. And then on this bit, you can choose music, so you can tell you what it's playing currently, which is pretty handy. And you can also control your volume as well, so I won't play too much of this, otherwise, I'll infringe copyright. They can pause as well through here. And that's it, guys. Um, that's pretty much the center console. Uh, it's very handy. It tells you pretty much all you need to know. So thanks for watching this morning. Um, hope you've enjoyed that. And um, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate your support so far. And uh, please leave your feedback. Tell me what else to do. Tell me what else you want to know about electric vehicles. Um, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll certainly speak to you very shortly. Have a wonderful day where, wherever you are in this world. And... Um, Stay charging. Hey, thanks for watching, and thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!